Welcome to Let the Redeemed of the Lord Say So Fast. My name is Nick Kupalithis, and I'm the lead pastor of the Victory House. It is great to be with you. God is so good. We have been going through Psalm 107. So let me encourage you, get your Bible, get something to take notes with, not so you're just taking notes on what I'm saying, but what the Lord is speaking to you, because you're going to find life in that. And we've been looking at this amazing psalm where the psalmist is extolling, he's praising, he's giving thanks to God that God is a God of steadfast love, he's a good God, and that he's a God who redeems people in their trouble, meaning he doesn't just look for the best and the brightest, he looks for those that are crying out to him. And that's what we're going to see today as we travel further in this psalm, is that there's those that are in distress, but when they cry out to God, he answers. And we're going to pray specifically today for individuals that need chains broken in their life. And as you're fasting, meaning you're, you're starving your flesh and you're feeding your spirit, God is going to release chains. People who have been chained up, maybe it's prodigals you've been praying for, maybe it's other individuals, maybe it's an addiction in your life that you're saying, God, break this thing. That's what we're going to pray for today. So if you need to, pause this video and read verses 10 through 16, because we're going to work through some of the points in those scriptures. All right, so if you're pausing the video, do it now. If not, let's rock and roll. Psalm 107, verse 10. Some sat in darkness and in the shadow of death, prisoners in affliction and in irons. Man, this is, this is tough. Remember la yesterday, what did we see? We saw people who were wandering in the desert with no home, no community, and God rescued them. God redeemed them. And so what do we see today? We see a horrific situation here. We see people who are in darkness, who are in the shadow of death, who are in misery, who are in trouble, this darkness, meaning there's evil that's over them. There's something that has captured them. They're prisoners. They're within a cell. There is no hope. And they're in affliction and irons. This is, this is a horrific thing. And look what it says in verse 11. How did these prisoners get there? Well, verse 11 tells us, for they had rebelled against the words of God and spurn the counsel of the Most High. This is what we see in our world today. This is what we see in America. We see a spurning, a mocking, a pushing off of the words of God. And you know what? That doesn't lead to life and happiness. That leads to darkness and misery. And these individuals in verse 10, they're there because of their choice. This is what I love about the Lord. This is why God's so good. We make stupid decisions in our life. We do stupid things, and yet God still pursues us. We don't deserve it, but that's what his mercy is. We, we never deserve his mercy. And these individuals, these prisoners, it was their choice. They rebelled against God. And it says this, judgment came on them. Look at verse 11, uh, verse 12. It says, so God bowed their hearts down with hard labor. They fell down with none to help. There was judgment that came. God said, you want to choose something apart from me? That's fine. You choose it, but I'm going to allow the consequences of your decisions to take over in your life. You don't want my goodness? Fine, I'll pull it from you. You don't want me? Fine, I'll, I'll pull it from you. And verse 13 then happens. It says, then they, who? Who's they? Then the prisoners cried to the Lord in their trouble. We talked about that yesterday. And he delivered them from their distress. Hallelujah. Isn't that wonderful that God heard them, even though it was their own decisions, their own, it was their own way, it was their own free will that they were acting, but God rescued them from themselves. I want to tell you something. God rescues us from ourselves. God rescues us, and he delivered us. And it says, God brought them out of darkness, out of the shadow of death. And look at this. He burst their bonds apart. He didn't just rip them out. He burst them apart these shackles of darkness, these shackles of evil. He burst them apart. And as the psalmist writes this, verse 15, he says, let them thank the Lord for his steadfast love. How do you know about God's steadfast love? Because he bursts the shackles of the enemy. Remember the, 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 the man in the garrisons? No one could cast that demon out. No one could break that shackle of, that was in his own life, the demonic. But what did Jesus do? He burst 
that shackle of the demonic in his life, and he was set free. And he says, for his wondrous works to children of men, verse 16, for he shatters the doors of bronze, and he cuts into the bars of iron, meaning it's kind of this picture of a gated city, and they have their, their bronze and iron um, you know, it looks like a, like a jail cell, but it's to keep people out, you know, and it's like, you know, you know, what God does, you know, God, he breaks through that. He breaks through these things that have been set up by the demonic and evil and maybe results of our own choices. He breaks through and he brings freedom. Hallelujah. God is in the freedom business. This is the goodness of God. This is why he redeems us from trouble. Guess what? He redeems us from our own garbage, from our own trouble. I want to tell you today, God redeems you from your own trouble. And as you're fasting and seeking the Lord, maybe it's self-reflective, something that you've chosen in your life that you find that, does God even want to deal with this? I want to say, yes, he does. Maybe you're praying for a prodigal or you're praying for somebody else that the, the chains of darkness are upon them. And what we're going to pray is that they come encounter with the goodness of God, the steadfast love of the Lord. And what we're going to see, I believe, is the chains burst in their life. So, Father, in the name of Jesus, I thank you that you call us from the east and the west and the north and the south. And, God, Lord, we can come with chains. We can come, Lord, from that place, God, that our decisions have rebelled against you. But yet, God, you're still loving and passionate and generous and kind. And you come, Lord, to those that cry out, even if the chains are our own. And, Lord, the promise today is that You'll burst the bonds. You'll burst the chains. And so, Father, we pray that for the prodigal and for those that are in rebellion to you, God, and Lord, there would be a Lord, there would be a turning to you, and God, that they would know the goodness of the Lord, that Jesus Christ suffered for them, Lord, in order that they could be free. And every chain would be broken. Chains of addiction, chains, Lord, of, of unbelief, chains, God, Lord, of, of bondage, Lord things that have happened to them, that they have offense and hurt and things, some things that were not even their own fault, but there's been chains put around them and they're prisoners sitting in darkness. Father, today we ask you to visit them with the spirit of the Lord. Father, in the name of Jesus, we pray that you would encounter them and that every chain would be broken. Father, in the name of Jesus, I pray even for your people who have been in the church, that have read the Bible, God, that know every worship song, that Lord can preach every sermon that their pastor can preach and father i pray father you would break their chains god lord those hidden things god those things that are in their life god they feel like they know it all that the chains of pride and they would be liberated father god in jesus name and so father we just are agreeing today i just feel like this if there's someone you're praying for say their names right now yeah say their names and Father, we pray that they would encounter the goodness of the Lord, the forgiveness of the Lord, and they would come into that place of repentance. And Lord, they would have every chain burst. Lord, you said you've come to set the captive free. Lord, set them free in Jesus' name. Amen. God bless you. I will see you tomorrow. Jesus is King.